cherished ideas that we hold in this country is that there should be uninhibited public debate and freedom of speech. Now, the question you have before you today is whether a public figure's right to protection from emotional distress should outweigh the public interest in allowing every citizen of this country to freely express his views. Uh, but what was the view expressed in Exhibit A? Well, uh, to begin with, this is uh, a parody of a known Campari ad. I understand. Uh, go ahead. Right. Okay. Also, and more importantly, it was a satire of a public figure, of Jerry Falwell, who in this case was really a, a prime candidate for such a satire, um, because he's such an unlikely person to appear in a liquor ad. This, this is a person that we are used to seeing at the pulpit, Bible in hand, preaching with a, a famously beatific smile on his face. But what is the public interest you're describing? That there is some interest in making him look ludicrous? Yes, yes, Your Honor, there is a public interest in making Jerry Falwell look ludicrous, insofar as there is a public interest in having Hustler magazine e express the point of view that Jerry Falwell is full of BS. Uh, and, and Hustler magazine has every right to express this view. Uh, they have the right to say that uh, somebody who has campaigned actively against our magazine, who has told people not to buy it, who has uh, publicly said that it, it poisons the minds of Americans, uh, who in addition has, has told people that sex out of wedlock is, is uh, immoral, uh, that they shouldn't drink. Hustler Magazine has a, a First Amendment right to publicly respond to these comments uh, by saying that Jerry Falwell is full of BS. It, it says, let's deflate this stuff, shirt, and bring him down to our level. Our level in this case being admittedly a lower level than most people <laughs> would like to be brought to. Uh, I apologize, I know I'm not supposed to joke, but that's sort of the point. But Mr. Isaacman, the First Amendment is not everything. I mean, it's a, a very important value, but it's not the only value in our society. What about another value which says that good people should be able to enter public life and public service? The rule you give us says that if you stand for public office or become a public figure in any way, you cannot protect yourself or indeed your mother against a parody of your committing incest with her in an outhouse. Now, do you think that uh, George Washington would have stood for public office if that was the consequence? Uh, it's interesting that you mentioned George Washington, Justice Scalia, because very recently I saw a, a political cartoon that's over 200 years old. Um, it depicts George Washington riding on a donkey, being led by a man, and the caption, the caption suggests that this man is leading an ass to Washington. I can handle that. I I think George can handle that. <laughs> but that's a far cry from committing incest with your mother in an outhouse. <laughs> I mean, there's no line between the two? Uh, no, Justice Scalia. I would say there is no line between the two, because really what you're talking about is a matter of taste and not law. Uh, as, as you yourself said, I believe, in Pope versus Illinois, uh, it's useless to argue about taste and even more useless to litigate it. And that is the case here. Uh, the jury has already determined for us that this is, is a matter of taste and not a matter of law, because th they've said that there is no libelous speech, that nobody could reasonably believe that Hustler was actually suggesting that Jerry Falwell had sex with his mother. So why did Hustler have him and his mother together? Hustler puts him and his mother together in, in an example of literary uh, travesty, if you will. And what public purpose does this serve? Well, it serves the same public purpose as having Gary Trudeau say that Reagan has no brain or that George Bush is a wimp. It lets us look at public figures a little bit differently. We, we have a long tradition in this country of satiric commentary. Now, if, if Jerry Falwell can sue uh, when there has been no libelous speech purely on the grounds of emotional distress, then so can other public figures. And imagine, if you will, suits against people like Gary Trudeau and Johnny Carson for what he says on The Tonight Show tonight. Obviously, when, when people criticize uh, public figures, they're going to experience emotional distress. We all know that. It, it's the easiest thing in the world to claim, and it's impossible to refute, and that's what makes it a meaningless standard. Really, all it does is allow us to punish unpopular speech. And, and this country is founded, at least in part, uh, on the firm belief that unpopular speech is absolutely vital to the health of our nation. Thank you, Mr. Isaacman. 
Reverend, are you confident that you will win this case? Absolutely. There's no way the Supreme Court will come down on the side of a, a sleaze merchant like Larry Flynn. Mr. Keating, why are you here today? To show support for those people who believe that pornography should be outlawed. Because if the First Amendment will protect a... What did Grutman call me? Scumbag. Scumbag like me, well, then it'll protect all of you. Because I'm the worst. Larry, do you have any regrets? Only one. 